All right, so what do we have here? This is a 2014 Newcast P5. I'm gonna be doing two tests with these things. First one is gonna be a double diaphragm setup. That's gonna be my first run. And then the second run, I'm gonna run, be running a single diaphragm to see what this, what the comparison is. And I'm over at, you can't see anything, but I'm over at my normal testing site. So, got my three quarter, three quarter inch solenoid, three quarter inch air hose going in the back window. If we go back here. Got my normal setup, 27 gallons. I just don't have the extra 11 gallon right now. I have three 11 gallon tanks, but, but I only feel like putting two in here. So, 27 gallons, charging up to 120 psi. Here we go. Okay, so, so I'm back in my normal testing site, and I have the, the Newcast P5 on my car right now. I'm starting off at 120 PSI with 27 gallons of air. So, that's, that's my rig. I have the P5 up, double diaphragm setup currently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow for two seconds, see what our reading is. I'm going to go out, do my normal run, and I'm going to come back, swap out with single diaphragms, and there's a couple sticks on the ground, so I know exactly where I parked. And I'm going to keep the tripod where it's at, so I get the pretty accurate reading. So, as you can see, it's very quiet. If my car wasn't running, this thing would dip down to about 20, 25 decibels. It's very quiet here, but not for long. Hit max, and we'll see how we do. Okay, so we got 118.6 decibels, so that's our baseline for double diaphragms. Okay, now it's time for a test run. Okay, so I took out one of the two diaphragms in each one. 
so this thing's now running at a single diaphragm, three quarter inch solenoid, and I have looks. Let's see, can we shine it? It looks like just over 120 psi. So let's take it for a run, shall we? Okay, round two. Single diaphragms in the P5. Probably about same distance. So let's put you underneath the tripod, hit max, and then we'll see how we do. Okay, so we got 116.7 decibels. A little bit quieter, quieter, but it's still very loud, believe me. <laughs> okay, time for a test run. Swing you over, and here we go. Alrighty guys, so here's that P5 again. Now I just got done doing that test and from the camera, or in this case the video, you can't really tell much of a difference between double diaphragms, which means each bell would have two diaphragms in each, in each power chamber, versus a single diaphragm, which is what is in here now. Now I'm going to put these diaphragms back in and I'll make this a double diaphragm again. So. What's the major difference between single and a double diaphragm? Now the first thing I noticed is double diaphragms are more efficient on air. And not only it's more efficient, it's also louder, it's harsher to the ear, and it's a little bit harder to quill if you're using one of these manual valves. Or, or, or if I'm using, in my case, a solenoid, you can't quill it at all. But if you're using a single diaphragm, like in this case right now, I I just got done doing a run. I still haven't put those in yet. 
But if you're running a single diaphragm, which is what this is currently at the moment, is that it uses more air, and as you heard in the video, I believe it was the either the number one or the number two on the way back that it was uh, that it was delaying in the video. So this thing uses more air. It's not as harsh. It's more quieter, and it's way easier to quill if you're using a ball valve or a manual valve. Now those are the major differences between single and double. Now, what's a little interesting note on P-horns is that the diaphragms for them is also coincidentally matches a Grover Studitone horn. Here's the diaphragm for that. Now, if this thing was in good condition, I could literally put this with the P-horns and this with that, and I could close it up and it'll work just like a new new Grover Studitone. Now, these are same ones that you would find on on the fire trucks and ambulances. That's a little interesting fact. And here's what the back looks like. Got the spring. There's the nozzle right there. The air inlet. A little interesting fact for you. Oh, didn't really need to point that out, but I thought it was a little interesting for you. Alrighty guys, so here is the P5 now. I have a three quarter inch manual ball valve hooked up to it and I'm going to be doing two runs as I said in the, in the previous video shit take two five almost 50 feet away from my car so this is what it sounds like 